And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. We'll bring you back down to earth now, and let's begin with coronavirus coverage. County executives meeting with the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer today. News Channel 9's Josh Martin is at the Onondaga County Executive's briefing to fill us in on what happened. Josh, so does this mean more money from the state? Christy, if things go Senator Schumer's way, it very well could. Senator Schumer meeting with several county executives across New York State, including Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon. The topic, obviously, funding, needing funding for local governments. Local officials have been calling for federal aid since last May, and still nothing to help recoup them with some of the losses they've had, with some of the expenses they've incurred from COVID-19. McMahon says that Schumer is confident a deal will get done, and that hopefully that funding will find its way directly to local governments. The reality is, is <laughs> if you want it to come to us, you need to give it to us or else it might not get to us. And that happened with the CARES Act. So on the CARES Act, the states gave money to the locals. So the locals still haven't even spent that money in many cases. I have calls with my colleagues from across the country. Um, they're shocked to hear that we didn't get direct funding. Some housekeeping stuff, Christy. McMahon says today could be the first day in a while that the daily COVID-19 positivity rate is under 1%. Starting next week, we expect to see more testing in schools as kids make their way back from winter break. And he said today, the county executive said that we can expect fans at the Syracuse Mets home opener on April 13th. He says they'll be having conversations with the team, getting the ballpark ready. So come opening day in about six weeks or so, we could very well see fans at the Syracuse Mets games as we head into summer. Live at the On Center, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.